So yesterday, Billy Napier and the Florida Gators got a massive win out the transfer portal for a position of major need. And today, we've got to break it down. We need to talk about why Keontae Goodwin transferring from Kentucky to Florida is such a big win for the Gators, but we also need to talk about why this upcoming season is huge for Florida football. Before we camp, as always, y'all know the drill. I have got to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you excited that Goodwin chose the Gators? And let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification as I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and comment down below as those interactions are massive. But having said all that, let's jump right into this. And as I stated in the intro, this is a massive win for the Florida Gators. Whenever we look, they lost a lot of talent along the offensive line to the transfer portal. But the one thing the transfer portal gives you, the one thing we talk about consistently, the transfer portal taketh. But the transfer portal also giveth, and this is a perfect example of that. Because Florida had big needs along the offensive line, and they've been able to identify and address some of those needs via the transfer portal, and Keontae Goodwin is just the latest and possibly biggest addition of the bunch. Because when we look, Keontae Goodwin coming out of high school was just outside of five-star territory per the 24-7 sports composite. However, if we look at the 24-7 sports ratings in and of themselves, he was a five-star prospect. What we do know without question is that he was one of the best prospects in the nation regardless of position. Per the 24-7 sport composite, he came in as the number six offensive tackle and the number one player in his state, and he stands six foot eight, 351 pounds per ESPN. And and this is a huge win for the Gators, getting in more talent along the offensive line. There's going to be a lot of new for the Gators next season. And this is kind of why I say this upcoming season is a big one for Billy Napier and the Gators. And we're going to talk about that, and I think this is a great transition into it. There's going to be a whole lot of new. Getting in guys such as Keontae Goodwin, who may not have been a starter at Kentucky, but he did play in games. He burned his red shirt because he was able to get experience in so many games. And one thing before we transition into why this upcoming season is so big for Florida, quick little caveat, I talk about this at length. It is very difficult to transition from high school offensive line to college offensive line. I'm never surprised when I see blue chip four star or even five star guys sit a year to learn. The difference in size, speed, strength, technique, and understanding of your position required to be successful at the collegiate level is exponentially higher than what it takes to be successful at the high school level. Think about it like this. In high school, you could have the number one offensive tackle in the nation going up against a guy consistently that he's not going to go and play college football. He's just playing high school football so he can hang out with his friends. Well, when you get to college, that same offensive lineman is now 18 years old and the guy sitting across from him, well, that's a college athlete. That's a guy who is one of the top players coming out of high school at his respective position. The difference is he's been in the strength and conditioning room for straight years and now you're asking them to go one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm never surprised when we see these young guys sit a year, learn the system, and grow. Now, that being said, I'm not saying it's impossible to start as a true freshman along the offensive line for a five-star, four-star, or any true freshman. We've seen it time and time again. This is just to say I'm never surprised with the offensive lineman in particular when it takes a little bit for things to get sorted out because I think it makes complete sense. But there's a lot of new for the Gators. You're going to be having new faces along the offensive line. You're going to have a new face at the quarterback. And what you want is a sure thing. And this is why I say this upcoming season is big for the Gators and Billy Napier. If we look, we can look at the state of the SEC East first. Georgia's coming off of back-to-back -back national championships, and they don't look to be going anywhere. I know they're going to, once again, send a ton of talent to the NFL, but they did that last year, and they were right back in the national championship. And the reason I think they're going to be a force to be reckoned with in college football, look at the way they've recruited. They have consistently got some of the top talent in high school. Now, I'm not saying I'm instantly predicting them to win a national championship. It's tough to repeat, which is why it's so impressive what Kirby Smart did. Point being, they're very talented, and they're going to be a force in the SEC East. You look at Tennessee and Highpool. They want to continue the season they just had, especially after Highpool got that extension. He wants to make sure that Tennessee fans think it was worth it. You have some competition in your own conference. The SEC East has teams trying to emerge. Georgia has been there, but you have South Carolina trying to get right. You have Tennessee trying to get right. And the last thing Florida needs is to slip down the ranks of teams trying to reach up and catch Georgia. 
That's the last thing you need if you're the Florida Gators. And so this season, this is a big one. And I'm not saying that Florida has to go out and win the SEC East or they have to go win a playoff game. That's not my contention here. My contention is you have to be a football team that is improving week by week. But we don't even need to look at the SEC East. We can actually just look at the state of Florida where there are several major brands in college football with Florida, Florida State, Miami, and UCF making their birth into the Power Five. Now, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of talent to go around in the state of Florida, and in no way am I saying there can only be one or two good Florida teams at a time. My point here is that you want to make sure you're at the forefront when all these kids are thinking about where are we going to go play college football? Where is going to put us in a position to be successful? If that kid is from the state of Florida, one of the first teams you want in their mind is the Florida Gators. And that's what Billy Napier and the Gators have got to do this season. This is going to be a big one. So in a season that I believe is going to be big for Billy Napier and the Florida Gators, Keontae Goodwin is a massive win. And they've done great work in the transfer portal getting Keontae Goodwin, getting in Damian George, the former Alabama offensive lineman, Micah Mizkua. I may have butchered that last name. If I did, I apologize. Another offensive lineman. They got a very talented linebacker from Michigan, another very talented linebacker for Ohio State. And they got Graham Mertz from Wisconsin, which I think is a massive win. They needed some help in the quarterback room, especially with Anthony Richardson testing the draft, and there the help comes. So going to be fun offseason for the Florida Gators, and I'm here for it all. Can't wait to talk about it, but most importantly, I can't wait to hear from all of you. Hop down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. That's it. See you.